Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I'm freaking level 51 and I freaking just took out an entire fleet and Get now I'm going to find the second to last regular cultist uh, and then I'll go kill the sage for that line and then possibly be able to kill the main person or I might feel obligated to just go kill a bunch of mercenaries until I can finally get info on that last cultist. <laughs> I don't know though. I might just go kill the ghost. Do your orders. Because that's that's the main goal of it all. But I do. There probably is an achievement for killing every single cultist. But who would have thought that that one would have been so annoying? That that one, you know, like oh, kill a bunch of high-level mercenaries. I'm like, you know, this was like a totally tangential thing in the game. That was like a cool way to get like cool gear if you wanted to and like level up but like and like each like mercenary had their own like unique it's kind of kind of mordor -y, you know what I mean like uh shadow of mordor -y, where like each enemy had like a unique personality and all that but um we should pick up the thousand yeah, days should. like these sort of blessing from the gods it is a beautiful ah oh. The blue seas, the sunny mm -hmm. sky, good companions, mm -hmm. an exciting journey. This, this is the good life. Slow the rowers! Commander away! Everyone at ease! Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, please come straight at me. I would appreciate that, actually. A lot. Oh, look at, she's got a cool, um... She's got a cool, like, theme on her ship. Oh no. Oh no. Come back here, you coward. No! She, she was coming straight at me. And then she stopped, probably because I... My ship became less of a threat once I got off of it. My ship has a pretty cool theme too, though. Yeah, we got a do saw on the front now, that's right. Okay, I have to get a little closer, I guess? Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, maybe I'll sneak up on her. Oh, no. close to her while I'm in front of her and hope she'll kind of like keep coming towards me. But like I'll have to stop and jump on the ship. Alright, I used my ship to kind of block off her route. And I think it's working so far. Her ship's called the Octopus, and she's got a freaking Minotaur on the thing. And Zeus. she got Zeus, even though she's like Poseidon. I'm sort of, like, you know, she's like, I'm gonna kill Poseidon, but she's got Zeus on her. Oh, come on, I wanted to, oh, okay, fine. I thought 
might have knocked her off. Cool beans. Uh, well, okay, time to go. I don't know where my, I don't know where my ship is. Where is it? I can't just like run around. There my ship is. Yeah, I'm good. I'm done. Bye. Thank you. Hopefully the sharks aren't gonna chase me. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's my, I can see my ship. I can see the golden glow of my ship. Okay. Anyway, I killed that cultist. That was easy peasy. Ha 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 ha. I thought I knocked her off, but then I, I thought for a second, I thought I saw her hit. Like, a, like one of the, like the railings, essentially, and stay on. I was like, nah, she probably stayed on. But it takes them a while when they fall in to die because they had to drown. <laughs> it's terrible. But I got all her loot, miraculously. I just had somebody waiting underneath the water, like <sighs> under the ship. You know? Yeah, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing now, huh? Having many heads, young sails west. Okay, hang on. Letter to the octopus. My father is sending ships to join you in Anafi. No reinforcements will reach Pefka. You have my word. My father has only one request, an answer to a question. Our sage was last seen sailing west and sailing alone. If anyone understands him, you do. Where is he going and why? We are the waves. Those that do not fear cosmos can learn to breathe beneath the waves. Beneath the waves. It's the Hydra. The Hydra, the many headed, caught the eye of Cosmos through sheer viciousness. Recruited to be a simple ship's captain. He's got beautiful eyes. Look at those, like, color. The young Hydra instead took command, slaughtering and sinking any who opposed. Um, he united the cult's fleets and its so called gods of the Aegean until those sailors who knew them knew to fear them more than Poseidon's wrathful tempest. That sphere was Hydra's gift to Cosmos. Where you at? Where you floating around? I should actually have, I think I have the entire, yeah, I should have the entire uh, pirate uh, outfit. Nee, 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 nee. It does not look very cool, but it's got so much assassin damage. Okay, I am going to equip it, all the pieces. If I have them, I should. Yep, pirate hood. All so far, the armor is really, really good as well. Mimika, Gauntlets of the Immortal, Amazon. So I don't have. I, I must have left the pirate brace, bracers behind. Oh my ship! But what a what a random lucky happenstance that I am on my ship. Pirate right, waistband. Oh, I like the red. That looks nice. Boots. Boots of the Immortal, Demigod, Athenian Warrior. Oh, and a uh, pirate tread treats. Treads and treads. Okay. So this is 12% crit chance while full health and all that yummy, yummy assassin damage. Uh, crit chance. Oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have the 30% adrenaline on assassination kill. I don't have the bracers on yet. And, oh, yeah. There's that. And the chance to crit while full health. Oh man, we look very assassin -y. Hang on. Oh man, okay, I actually like it. The more I look at it, the more I, oop, no, the more I like it. Bracers, bracers, pirate gauntlets. And the armor was like better than what I was wearing currently. Okay, let's see. Oh, I actually really like this a lot. It kind of like seems to be like Spartany, like with the red, but like I thought this was like a gray, but it's like a black. This is very nice. I'm big fan, big fan. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. 
I'm gonna wear this as is for a while. I really like it. Oh, wow, I like it a lot. I mean, it's kind of plain looking. It's not like it's flashy, but like, I like it. I like the black and red. It's one of my favorite color combinations, so. I'm a big fan, big fan. Oh, that's so neat looking. And the hood, I have not gotten to wear a hood very often in this game. Oh man, you're out here in the danger zone where I have never been. Let's see, are you, yeah, you're close to a dog, perfect. Oh man, we're gonna go kill our last sage. My dog is playing, I got him a giant drumstick, like a stuffed drumstick that's like as big as he is. And, um, well, like half as big as he is. <laughs> I did not ever think I'd buy a Thanksgiving themed toy, but all the Halloween ones were gone. Like, they went real fast. And all the Christmas stuff, I was like, meh. <laughs> but this giant turkey leg he seems to be enjoying. But that's when he's flailing around in the background. Anyway, also, I just want to say, I'm just stoked that I finally got the full assassin's armor. Oh, this is such a dope looking picture, actually! I'm taking that. Oh my gosh. Like her freaking, look at her legs too, they're so, she's so ripped. It's, it's unreal. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna mess around with this for a while. Although, you can see her underwear, and people will probably be like, that's what you're taking the picture of. Ooh, here, oh, 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 here's a good one. Oh. Now, her arm is strategically covering her underwear, but it also looks freaking epic. This is awesome. I, I'm, wow. I really like this armor set. I'm so excited to have it. Also, this, like, giant staff on my back does not fit. Like, it fits sort I, I don't know, it does fit, but, like, it, knowing what it is, it does, it's like, well, that doesn't actually really fit what an assassin does, and I'm like, shh, shh. Oh my gosh, this looks like cover art, you know? Like, it looks like I could, like, put it on the cover of the game. It looks so nice. I wonder what the map. I wonder if the map will show that I took like eight pictures here. Not right now. Maybe like, <laughs> or maybe it won't. I don't know. I liked. I liked. Uh, I liked that like second one the best, but you know, it's okay. They're all very cool looking. Did I get a better? Like, I chose this staff because it's, um, has the assassin. See, and that's the thing is that this one is that you can't crit, but several of these pieces, they have a crit bonus. But, that, the crit bonus essentially turns itself into damage, so that's good either way. Honestly. But let me try with... Yeah, let's try with this for a while. Don't mind me just taking 8,000 pictures of friggin' Cassandra and his awesome armor. Man, this guy really is just out in the middle of freaking nowhere. I think I'm coming up on a beast, huge beast. Oh no. Oh, jeez. 
Knocked him into the water. Oh, that was taking forever. Oh, jeez. to my ship. Gah. Hang on, let's see what this is. Okay, I don't know if I, you, I don't know how much I'm gonna show of that to you guys, but freaking, it was actually terrifying. I was really, really close to dying. <laughs> Several times. Luckily, poison can't kill you by itself. But, goes to figure that uh, the assassin um, Oceany type ones would have poison as their thingamajiggy, as their as their modus operandi. But anyway, it was terrifying. <sighs> Man, we're gonna go find the ghost. I think. I mean, maybe not this episode. I don't know. I lost track of time severely. Also, I'm changing. I don't like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like having two heavy weapons. So I think I will I was having a hard time at one point just because I'm used to being able to move faster. I do want to keep the min the Minotaur axe is pretty dope. Okay. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so cheating. I feel like it's so cheating. And the only reason I got the Cleon is because he was like a major character in the storyline. Oh man. The ghost is a woman. Well, you know, we've been no, but thanks. You have set fire to the waves as Cosmos commanded, but soon peace will come. When it does, you must rise above your wayward ambition to be controller of the seas. Imagine the world that Cosmos has shown me. None shall sail without sailing under you. You will own the seas, and I, the land, as king and queen, ruling over the entire world. Man, she really, uh, she freaking knows how to, like, play each one of them, you know? But, oh my gosh, we can unveil her! Okay, okay, Ooh, okay, okay, ready! You've seen it yourself. The future belongs to As us now. Oh, yeah. Old gods oh. and new be praised. Oh my gosh, Aspasia! That's Pericles' wife! I was like, Aspasia, right, right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, even having dominion over Pericles in the hearts and the minds of all of the Indians would not be enough. Oh my gosh, the woman we saved after Pericles was murdered. Oh my, okay, I, oh, 100%. Did not expect that at all. Oh my gosh. Aspasia, daughter of mighty Axios of Miletos. Oh my gosh. By, but did she actually fall in love? There had to have been to know all, to rule all, anything less. I mean, she was an extremely intelligent woman. And like the whole time though, she was the one trying to undermine Pericles, even though she he, she was the one he looked to the most as an advisor. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, I don't even know where she went. I can't even remember. Cause I remember we saved her and then she was gone. And every now and then after then I was like, well, where is Espacia? Like what's she, is, shouldn't she be doing stuff? Like my mom's doing stuff. Like why can't Espacia do stuff? Um, she was the one person, well, besides, I guess, um, like, Socrates and stuff, that we got out. But, like, wow. Wow. 
We thought keeping her alive would be like keeping like the flame of Athens alive, but wow, Astasia is the ghost of Cosmos. And I went to for her, oh, I went to her for advice about my mom, about where to find my mom. Her hair is a completely different color. Yeah, her hair is like way darker brown in here and she's like whiter. Wow. Aspas, that makes perfect sense though. Like Pericles was like the leader of the free world and they were king and queen of like, which I know is a funny, you know, you can't use a monarchy really to define like a democracy, but still. Like she ruled the underworld and he ruled like the overworld and like in the end she destroyed him. Oh my gosh, the poetic justice. That is actually real. Not poetic justice, sorry. The poetic juxtaposition is... Wow! I did not see that coming. That's so cool. I knew it was a woman. Like, we didn't know it was a woman, like, because of the way, like, the, the mask was. But, like, that was... I, I I couldn't think for a while I was I'll be honest with you for a while I was worried it might be my mom but I was like no that can't be but I was like but this game is so good at like in in many ways with these cultists like having started out with good intentions and and then like I don't know but I don't know I mean my mom was like actively fighting against the cult but you could say you know she was just destroying the elements that she no longer found useful was like culling it out you know i was legitimately worried because she was the most prominent woman besides myself that i like interacted with on a on a like a daily or like a more regular basis Espacia. okay there was a little bit of glitching there at the end and I, all i had to do really was end the episode i'm pretty sure this is a decent time i don't have any idea honestly okay but yeah that's really cool oh my gosh just like one of the most intelligent women, most powerful women in the world. And, but she wanted more, you know, like, but like she was in so many ways that we like didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that's so cool. She's gonna make an excellent villainess. I'm so excited. Well, she has, I guess, made an excellent villainess. She's so good with her words too. She's been able to manipulate all of these like people into doing what she wants. Um, and more besides, you know? Anyway, I think I'm gonna probably, I'm, I'm contemplating going around uh, kind of off recording and killing a bunch of mercenaries and um, getting that last cultist before dealing with Espicia. I don't even know where she is. Continue your odyssey. Okay, so maybe I do actually have to kill all the cultists before I can talk to her or before I can find her. I'm way out here. So far out. There's only a few places I haven't really been. Oh, unless she's like way out here. Can I? I think I could get up here, technically. Hmm. No, I don't think that's anything, because it would say, I, I think. I think it would say. What it was. Interesting. Anyway, I guess I will go kill a bunch of mercs and see if that helps. Otherwise, I, oh, maybe I, oh, 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 I bet you it's got something to do when I fully upgrade my spear. Which I cannot do yet. I must kill one more cultist. And then I will be able to upgrade my spear all the way. And she will probably like meet me there and we'll have like an epic showdown or something. But yeah. Let's see, where does the uh, upgrade the spear? Yep, I need one more. All right. You gotta go kill a bunch of mercs. This is great. This is super fun. Anyway, thank you all for joining me on this episode. That was really cool. It was very worth it to find out who she is. I'm... That's... That's just really cool. So I'm gonna go kill a bunch of mercs now. Wish me luck. Bye-bye!